वेलकम टू योर ओन चैनल ऑफ राइट फंडा देर इज एन इंटरेस्टिंग क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम द चैप्टर इलेक्ट्रोमैग्नेटिक इंडक्शन लेट्स रीड द क्वेश्चन फर्स्ट कंसिडर ए क्वार्टर सर्क्यूलर कंडक्टिंग रिंग ऑफ रेडियस ऑफ लार्ज रेडियस आर कैपिटल आर लोकेटेड इन एक्स वाई प्लेन विथ इट्स सेंटर एट ऑरिजिन एट ए स्मॉल सर्क्यूलर लूप ऑफ रेडियस स्मॉल ए carrying current small i is placed in x z plane with center at the origin as shown in the figure if the quarter circular ring is rotated with a constant angular velocity omega about the y axis then find the emf induced between its ends a and b so what the question is given is that so this ring is there quarter circular ring is there and it is placed in the xy plane initially and it is rotated about this axis so it will be going like this this every point will be rotating like this so if we make the locus of all the point will be the hemisphere type hemispherical shell type of thing it will be making okay so this is rotated like this and there is a ring in the yz plane this is that yz plane ring so this will produce magnetic field type definitely so in the presence of the magnetic field in the presence of the magnetic field uh, this ring is rotating this semi circle this quarter ring is rotating here about this axis fixed axis so we need to calculate the potential difference or emf induced emf between the a point induced emf between the a point and b point so now you have understood the question now you all have to try solving the questions and we'll see and uh, you may pause the video right now you can try solving the problem and after that you can again resume the video and see the solution i'll be discussing the solution right away okay so what to do how to solve this problem so this producing field field will be different at different point and for the ring we know the field at the on the axial point we don't know the field at any point like this so how to solve first we will make the strategy of solving the problem so how to solve this problem will be there because i require the magnetic field at every point is there but if i go to the through the wording of the question one thing is the large radius ring this ring is a large radius and another word that is given is a small very small this is a, a small circular loop this is very small it is and this is a very big thing so from that i can say though i don't know the magnetic field due to current carrying loop at any point but i have a formula like this i can replace this current carrying loop by a small tiny magnetic dipole this is just like a behaving like a magnetic dipole so dipole moment vector i can put a magnetic dipole moment vector and i know the magnetic field due to a dipole on its axial point i know the magnetic field on the axial on the equatorial point okay so uh, let's see how can be solved like this on the magnetic dipole is there a magnetic dipole we know current carrying loop has a dipole moment So we'll be solving this one. So before that, we know what what are things formula we know for the dipole is that uh, the magnetic field due to a magnetic dipole on its axial point and an equatorial point are given like this. Or what are much much greater than size size of the dipole size of the dipole. This sub approximation will take this like this. So this tiny dipole is there and R is very very greater than. a uh, small a is given so we can approximately write this equations and the magnetic moment magnetic moment of a current carrying loop magnetic moment of a current current carrying loop is equal to current times the area that is known to us so in this case the magnetic moment will be taking the current is flowing like this so it will be in this direction j cap direction magnetic moment will be there. so we will be solving this problem how to solve this problem like this so magnetic field is variable every point magnetic field is variable so we'll take a randomly we'll take a small element and definitely we need to uh, take the help of calculus to calculate this one so this my problem is there so what we'll do uh this my magnetic dipole is there and this and i take a small element i got a distant at an angle theta at a very small element which i subtend an angle d theta at the center this radius is r basically i am considering an r d theta length element okay and what happened this ring is rotating so right now if you see uh, this as it this have a motion like this the velocity vector will be into the plane because as it is rotating like this the velocity vector is k cap this velocity vector of this is 
is the direction of something v into minus a capital x minus 0. And I have taken a direction like this. I started from this point and after the dl is along the ring. dl is along the wire. This is dl and the velocity vector is into this. Area. Okay. So, uh, if I see this, suppose the magnetic field here is B, B the magnetic field here. So, I can write induced DMF across this small length, induced DMF across this small length can be written as, we know that any small length moves, the motion of EMF is equal to D is equal to B dot DL cross B. So, if B the magnetic field at that point, DL is the length of the element and V the velocity, instant velocity of that element, then this is the induced DMF here. So, so DL cross V is DL is, I told DL is along this length in the XY plane and V is minus K. So, by right hand rule, I can have DL cross V, DL cross V, this will be in this direction. DL cross V will be in this direction. Okay. So, that I have written the minus R cap, DL V R minus R cap. So, P is everywhere different than point is there, here also different is there. But I can write this V into two components. Let us resolve this magnetic field. I write in terms of two component and this right wherever they are in the plane of the ring right now I write that BL parallel and BL perpendicular two names I have given one B will be like this another will be perpendicular to this. okay one is R cap direction I have taken another equal to in tau cap the along the tangent you have taken but you will see the when you do a dot product you will do this K cap dot R cap this will be 90 degree angle there will be zero will be there so only this component which is uh, in the along the radius that component will be having uh, producing uh, creating contributing to the emf the other component will not be doing so if i write like this so only one component will be there so b is equal to this much b parallel into r into v so now what we'll do that we will resolve this into two component this b parallel that we want to find out what is this by parallel is there two things the b perpendicular will not be doing so here this dipole is there, this dipole, I can resolve into two components, one is equal to this m vector, I will write the m parallel, I will write along this and I will write the m perpendicular, m parallel and m perpendicular here. So, for this m parallel component of the dipole, this is the axial point and for m perpendicular, it is an equatorial point and we know that for this axial point, axial point, here we have written this, for the axial point, magnetic field in the direction of magnetic moment and for equatorial it is perpendicular to the magnetic moment and is minus sign. So, here for this dipole the magnetic field will be in this direction and for this component magnetic field will be uh, opposite to this will be there. But anyhow this comp this field will not be producing contributing the EMF because the dot particle is 0 that we have decided right now we have discussed and this will be there. there. So, this components whole magnetic moment this component Whatever magnetic field is there, that is not contributing to the EMF because for that, that product will be equal to 0. So, this only will be there and this M parallel is written as the B parallel magnetic field ka parallel component along the radius or the axial field. I can substitute in the B parallel equal to 2K times 2 M parallel by R cube that according to this equation. Okay. So, in this case, we will be substitute the values and other quantity there. <laughs> this DL, DL is nothing but the R D theta that we discussed this DL is your R D theta and the velocity because this element is moving in a circular path. As the element is moving in a circular path, this will be moving in a circle, this radius equal to R suppose, the radius in which the element is moving that equal to omega into R. So, V is equal to omega R and DL is equal to R D theta. So, this quantity I will write then K is equal to mu naught by 4 pi and m parallel, m parallel is nothing but parallel component of this, this angle I have taken theta, so they equal 90 minus theta and this is equal to m sin theta, this m sin theta, so m parallel I have taken the m sin theta. So, I substituted all the values, then I will arrange this one, then I got the equation like the d is equal to mu naught by 4 pi omega m by r 2 sin theta d theta cos theta, but this quantity is nothing but sin 2 theta d theta, this is equal to sin 2 theta d theta. So, we will integrate this, now we will be integrating everything is constant quantity and for the whole length we will be integrating this one and if we integrate this one sin 2 theta integration will be equal to minus cos 2 theta by 2 and if we substitute the limit 0 to pi by 2 from A to B, from A to B we want to integrating this one then we got the result 
that this this whole quantity this integration will come out to be minus 1 and we got the answer ea so at 0 when the theta was 0 this point when theta is equal to 0 this point name is equal to b and this theta equal to 90 degree this point is equal to ea so emf is equal to eb suppose here and emf is equal to ea suppose here so i got this value ea minus eb is equal to this one this minus minus become plus and we got this relation and m m is the magnetic moment that we have known uh, is equal to current into cross sectional area of the loop so this is the uh, result that we obtain potential difference between the two is equal to this much i can cancel this pi and pi this pi this pi get cancelled and what we remain with is that the potential difference or induced emf between the two ends a and b ea minus eb will be equal to uh, mu naught omega i a square by 4 r this the induced this the induced emf but the a point b point because of the uh, motional emf this ring is revolving and in the presence of this small ring which is we have considered the magnetic dipole I mean dipole moment m and for that we have written the field is different different there out of this field one field is contributing to the emf other field is not contributing to the emf because b dl cross v is in this direction and we found out that every small element has small magnetic moment as the induced emf and we integrated the induced emf and we got the net induced emf between the two points a and b is equal to mu naught omega i a square by 4r we got the answer for this hope you enjoyed the solutions